Okay, so we want to talk a little bit about uh, something again, maybe a bit boring, but ultimately very, very necessary. And we have some funny personal story about that just in time for this episode. So we want to talk a bit about file organization uh, backups and yeah, working with files in general. So uh, just a quick thing. So I work uh, with Mac and Windows together and uh, I'm pushing files I need to share files between them. And if you know a little bit uh, about Mac versus Windows, then you know that they have a different file systems. So Apple uses um, a APFS, yeah, and uh, Windows uses NTFS, and they are not compatible. They can't read each other. So there's like a plugins which you can use so that they can read each other's files. But basically, it's stupid nightmare. Um, so one way around that is what I use, which is a uh, NAS, a network attached storage. And uh, I pulled up one of the uh, vendors that builds these kind of cases, uh, which is Synology, which is what both of us use. Again, no endorsement uh, from us to them. There's other places like uh, QNAP or Drobo, which have competing project uh, products and they, I'm sure they work equally well. Um, it's just that we happen to use uh, these. and. Basically what it is, it's a little PC that has a lot of hard drives in it and plugs into your router and makes that f these files available to anything in, in your uh, own home network. Um, so on top of that, I have an expansion par uh, card, which is a 10 gigabit Ethernet expansion card, which I plug both into my directly into my Mac and PC. And so I have super fast... Um, directly, I mean, it's kind of like a, a, a direct attached storage uh, solution as well. Um, so I have really fast shared file storage between any kind of machine in my home. Um, and that has been working really perfectly for me so far. So yeah, well, let, let's not get into that. <laughs> so, but I, uh, but I want to, I do want to preface this, yeah. you know, just so that people realize mm. like, uh, you know, we're, we're giving you the solution, but first the problem, which is, <laughs> you know, first the problem is, is, is most people I know, a lot of them, they don't back up and they think, ah, it's fine. You know, this, all that, but you know, I, I'm telling you, uh, you should at least have your information in three different places and, and they have to be redundant because if you lose your information, uh, you know, you, that you can have a cloud. Uh, storage you can have a nas like jan was explaining mm. you can have an external drive and you can have an internal drive so it's, i have my stuff in four places i'm a freak about it wow you're crazy i because but i have that's that's everything i've done creatively mm, i don't true. i mean i'm not drawing it on a i'm not painting it on a canvas mm. i mean it's that is my canvas and like if you were an artist and you lost all your canvases you'd be pretty pissed yeah so a lot of people don't think about that and they kind of go, ah, it's fine in one place. Yeah, it's fine. As long and as I'm it doesn't to happen say, to them, right? Don't. Mm. Yeah. It, but it always, at some point, it will happen mm. because these are hard drives it's, it's stored on. And, mm. and don't have the misconception that, oh, I have solid state drive. It's fine. It's not. Mm. It is better and it doesn't have moving parts, but it doesn't mean it won't expire. That drive will go bad. Yep. So it's a guarantee. It's just a matter of time, mm. right? So really put that in mind. And, it, you know, for those of us who are in the industry, we probably have a crap ton of like files. Mm. I mean, look at the stuff we introduced, all that. Everything is just space. Mm. So just back up. And now we're going to tell you mm. what happens when you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's a good it's a good thing you say that the data needs to exist in at least three places. I think that that uh, is very important. And. You, you also need to add to that that at least one of those has to be in a physically separate space. So the idea yes. basically behind it is that what if, what if your, let's say your thing burns down or short circuit or anything and, and, and it affects the entire house and that means all your data is gone. If you have it in one remote place, then at least uh, that place can be saved because the likelihood that those two places burn down at the same time is probably pretty unlikely. Um, <laughs> but I mean, just to quickly talk a little bit about, about the strategy, right? So, I mean, there's a, um, I have like a, a, a local backup, um, but 
stupidly enough for me that local backup was within the same NAS here. So the likelihood that this thing enclosure breaks is actually a lot lower than hard disks breaking. So the two things that basically can happen with this is that you have all your hard disks in this machine and either your hard disks fail against which these kind of systems are protected or the enclosure fails. So for me, the latter happened. So I had this nice analogy. Well, and, I, I, but but yeah. don't forget, we, we were talking about this episode. <laughs> that was even better. So we were planning this episode. The story even better. Yeah, We were talking about this episode and we we're talking about like, hey, we should talk a little bit about file backup because I know a lot of people don't do it. And then uh, I was like, because I was always, always interested in, in, in certain like secure online remote backups. And I was like, so, hey, Emmanuel, what do you use? And then he's like, oh, I use this other th service that we're going to talk about in a bit. And so everything was about about it. And we agreed on the episode we, we were going to do. And then um, I stopped the, f the, the, the video call and wanted to start using that online backup. So I reconnect my NAS because I, I, I overnight it disconnects and it didn't turn on. And then like 10 minutes later, I'm writing Emmanuel like, shit, I think my NAS just died. And I'm like, how does this happen? It's impossible. So in the end, it was dead. I needed to send it for servicing. Um, and I, I don't know. I think somebody was listening in and just decided to destroy my NAS. I have no idea. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's how it came about. And um, I think it's a good thing to highlight that. The good thing with Synology is that, I mean, if you let's say you have to buy a different machine because the old one broke, then you can just plug the drives right in as long as they're in the same order as, as how you pull them out. So one, two, three, four, five, six or eight or however many you have, it will just do a migration and it takes like two minutes and it's done and all your data is accessible again. So that's great. So, but I think one of your friends had a, a different case happening where the hard disk yeah, failed. So yeah, so I mean, you got the lucky end of the deal yeah. on that one, although you were freaking out. Yeah, because um, I, I just remember calling <laughs> him back, and he pulls his mic over and says, <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he was just like, like, and 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 I get that feeling because it's that's a lot of information mm. and everything. Right? So on these drives, basically, on it depends on how you set them up at the beginning, but you can have like up to like two disks fail mm. and you can rebuild exactly. the volume right so uh on jan's case it, it wasn't each, actually the disks mm. it was actually the enclosure mm. which is the lucky oh, part that, yeah. you know that's the luckier part because if money you know like a, at least the you know you, it should be fixed for you by warranty if it's new yeah, if yeah, not yeah. then it, you have to get a new one but at least it's not like that much money but now my friend had two drives fail and it wouldn't rebuild the volume. Yeah, that so can now happen. he has to go and bring it to a data recovery place and it's going to cost him thousands. Oh, and that's really only sad. if it can be fixed. If it can be fixed, yeah. It's not a guarantee because it's it's information spread across five or six volumes yeah. uh, or drives and it has to rebuild. There's a lot of stuff that can go wrong there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know... So don't think that you have a NAS, you're good. Mm. No, I mean, because if my NAS fails, I know I have it online. Mm. I know I have it on my external drives mm. and I know I have it internally. Yeah. So if all that fails, well, then I guess it's really my time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to, exactly. <laughs> what can I do? Right. Yeah, I mean, but it, that's it's better to do it this way. Right. I mean, actually, I don't know if it officially says it on, on, on the website for these Synology and QNAP or whatever, but a NAS is not a backup. It's maybe a fail safe, but it's not a backup. So ideally you should have two, of the, if you have a lot of data, you, have, you should have two of those monsters and one mirrors the other, um, depending on how much data you have. So some people have more, some people have less. Like if, you, if you're if really into like videography, then you probably have like many terabytes of stuff. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, everything's on there, right? So all the work stuff, all, I mean, what's more important to me is actually the, the photographs and videos that I've taken for the last 20, 30 years that are basically everything, like all the family pictures and everything that's way more important, right? I mean, 
most people these days don't have printed photo books anymore, right? It's just all all digital, right? And and to lose that is is you can't weigh that with money, right? So I think my photos are backed up in like three or four different places. Um and uh, yeah, and really that's important. it's what's important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, but I I also think you know like backing it up. It's it's never a bad idea, but just make sure you know like a lot of people think ah oh, you know I'll just throw it on Google Drive or Dropbox you know and but the problem mm -hmm. with that is is uh, there there's no uh, backup system. Uh, so you, yeah. you know you if you have to manually drag it mm -hmm. every day or every so many days, you're gonna lose stuff. Yeah, exactly. guaranteed. Yeah. So that's, I think, where uh, stuff like uh, Crash Plan comes in. Um, so there's many, there's, I think, a few other ones as well. But again, it, that's kind of just um, what I think you've been using for a while and the one you got me on as well. Um, an automated thing that you can select exactly what you want to back up into the cloud and it's safe and secure there. Um, and it's it's 10 bucks a month for, I think, unlimited storage. So you can all, you know, like, dozens of terabytes can go on there it will take a long time for the for the first time you back up but then the increments it will it will check on a certain increment of time uh when it will back up automatically whatever file changes there are um and 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 that's it and then you can and so my, my strategy with some of that is because i have a data cap right mm -hmm. a lot of people in the states have a data cap oh, it's not okay unlimited so uh, a data cap in terms of our internet Right. From the so provider, yeah. yeah. So so what I do a lot is I, I compress a lot of the files that I like. Let's say I'm done with a show called, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Professor X. Like so I'm done with that show. Mm -hmm. What I'll do is I'll zip up that whole folder. I mean, I'll clean it out first, mm -hmm. and then I'll zip it up, and then I'll put it in a folder to be backed up. Oh, okay. So that way the upload is a lot less. Oh, okay. Uh, and so my data limit is less mm, and, and also it takes less time yeah so, that's true and it's only one file that you know basically mm. is one zip file that has to be downloaded if right. you need it right that but you know there it, it, it's good or bad but i mean yeah, you yeah, know, pros either way it's mm. backed up but it's a know? good point it's a good point that uh, i mean we don't have data caps here but um a good thing to know yeah yeah is there any any other so, yeah. software or stuff you want to you wanted to introduce um no i mean i think this is probably you know a part one of you know, or maybe there, there'll be other things that, uh, that we'll want to introduce for like other software. But mm -hmm. I think in general, this is, yeah, this is what I have. Well, this is what I use. I put Perfect. it that way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good to know. Um, so please people, everybody, there's many different strategies of how you can back up your data. You don't need to wait until one of your hard disks, computers or whatever fails, right? Be smarter than us, um, and back up your data.